guys, today I will be showing you my Christmas decorations and also I will be baking some doggy treats for my dog. So if that's something you're interested in, keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Good girl, see, not too bad. Okay, so in the doggy treats that I will be baking today. Oh, and also I got these at Target, the cookie cutters. So I have a Christmas tree, a snowman, Santa, so cute. And then a reindeer. Dude, she doesn't even care. Maxine, you have to be up here. I have to give her a carrot so she can be up here. Here. You have to sit up here. The doggy treats, super simple ingredients. All you need are some carrots. And then this is not flour. This is actually oats, but I blended it so it can give that flour consistency. So we're gonna put that in there and I eye everything. There's no measurements, so hopefully that's enough. And then some banana, Maxine loves banana. Dude, look at her, she's crazy. Whose daughter is that? And then Maxine's favorite, we're gonna put some peanut butter. You love peanut butter? Girl, chill. <laughs> yeah, on camera. Stop. She's gonna start barking and watch. I'll let you lick the spoon, okay? And then, since there's a lot of dry ingredients, <laughs> since there's a lot of dry ingredients, I will put a little bit of oil in there. It's not that bad for the dog. Well, it's not bad at all, actually. Okay, here. All right, we get it here. The ingredients we have in here so far are carrots, bananas, peanut butter, and oats in a flour consistency. You can literally just put it in a blender and it will give you that consistency. But since there's a lot of dry ingredients, we're gonna put some oil or even some water. Oh, and one egg. We need an egg to put it really together. And now we're just gonna mix all of this in. I think it was two years ago when I made her doggy treats. Chill. When I made her doggy treats, they were really, well, semi-dry. So she would like, she wouldn't choke, but she'd be like, eh. damn girl. Okay, so you don't want a very, you want a doughy consistency. And right now, this looks a little bit too wet. You want it a little bit more hard because we're going to cut them with these cookie cutters. So we need a little bit more flour. And like I said, I just eye everything. But yeah, so I got those cookie cutters at um, Target. And each one was a dollar. And I got four of them, so it was only four dollars. And I decided to get some Christmas ones just to be festive. And then since I don't have kids, I was like, well, I still want to do something festive. So I have a daughter, Maxine. Get up here. Get up here. So I treat her like my daughter. So if you're a dog mom or a dog dad and you wanna do something special, definitely do these treats with them. So we're gonna put a little bit of flour right here. We're gonna grab a piece. I'm nervous, what if it doesn't come out? This is my first time <clears throat> doing it with the cookie cutter. I don't have a roller, so we're gonna do it by hand, like if it's a tortilla, then flatten it out. Oh my God, I, it is gonna work, it is gonna work. Okay, look, watch. Perfect. Hold on, guys. Maxine, look. Here, I have to give her a carrot so she can get, here you go. Oh, I'll show you guys how they look, but so far they look good for my first one. <laughs> Chill out, girl. Stay. I'm just gonna press down. This is a little hard. I'm just kidding. Hold on, sis. 
you know what this one got a little bit stuck because i forgot to add flour on the table board but look <laughs> the christmas tree girl chill hey let's do the next one let's do the snowman press down Oh, there you go. That's how it's supposed to come out. This one was really good. I think it's because I used a thicker amount. Yeah, see? But <laughs> Bro, I'm becoming hella good at this. Look at my reindeer. Period. Let me show you guys how they look. Aren't they so cute? Okay, so now that the doggy treats are in the oven for 15 minutes, I'm gonna show you my Christmas decorations inside. This is how they look during the day. And then finally, this is how they look during nighttime. Dude, isn't it such a vibe? I was like, I didn't mention these Christmas decorations are from last year from my old apartment down in Kansas. So I just decided to bring them here. But isn't it so cute? Look at the Christmas tree, such a vibe. I'm gonna check on the cookies real quick, okay? Okay, so this is the finished product. You can see the snowman right there, the little reindeer. Santa, Christmas tree. Aren't they so cute? Honestly, I wish I had dog icing. And I tried to call a few stores to see if they had some just so I can like buy that instead of buying like the actual cookie. But a lot of stores do not sell the icing. So this will have to do. And honestly, I did not have time to make the icing myself. I'm going to see if Maxine likes it. Hold on, hold on. Hey, wait. Okay, which one should I... What do you want? So we always do this game on Instagram where she gets to choose... Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Yay, you like it? Yeah, see, she likes it. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, she really likes them, guys. So hopefully you guys can do them for your dogs. I'm gonna give you a reindeer. Can you sit? Stay. Stay. Go. Oh, she loves them. I hope you guys actually try them on your puppies. Cause I know Maxine loves them. I will put everything down in the link description about the doggy treats in case you got kind of lost because honestly, I feel like I was all over the place about them. Um, as for the Christmas decorations, I got most things at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and Dollar Tree, but this was last year. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure they have new stuff there. Come here. 
Okay, so that is it for the video. <laughs> Say bye, Maxine. <laughs>